Right. Can you go ahead and tell us what you've got for us? Yes, sir. Uh, on Monday, March the 14th at approximately 1.24 a.m., the Walker County Sheriff's Office, while investigating the homicide of a Hispanic male identified as Cesar Vadimiro Coronado, uh, during this investigation, uh, additional information was uh, received uh, that led law enforcement to believe that his 14-year-old daughter may also be in, in jeopardy. Um, the 14-year-old female uh, has been identified as Adriana Coronado, approximately five foot tall, 105 pounds, and has brown eyes, and usually wears uh, black frame glasses. Uh, investigators with the department have reason to believe that Adriana uh, may have been with her father during the time of the homicide. The uh, Moore County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's assistance on this. Uh, the Houston Police Department is also assisting uh, in this matter as well. Um, Moore County Sheriff's Office is primary investigator uh, on the investigation at this time, uh, but is also being assisted by the FBI and the Walker County Sheriff's Office. I mean, correction, the Walker County District Attorney's Office. Sheriff, do you believe this woman has been uh, abducted? Do you believe she's been kidnapped? At this point in time, based on the information that we have, we, we do feel that that is a very strong possibility. Um, and uh, we're working it as if she has been abducted. What happened to her father? How was he killed? Where was he found? What happened? Well, at, the, at this point in time, the body is currently undergoing uh, the autopsy, uh, and uh, we have reason to believe uh, that um, gunshots were involved, uh, but we're still waiting the autopsy results. With the Can vehicle you talk burned? There was a vehicle found burned in Montgomery County. Do you believe that's connected? At this point in time, we're trying to clarify that. Another vehicle aside from, uh, was, it, was it a pickup truck by the way, that was found there? It was a pickup truck. Do you believe this man was in the pickup truck before he was killed? That is unknown and some of the information that we're unable to relinquish at this time. Can you tell us where you found it? Uh, it's going to be in the northern portion of Walker County. So that's, so that's two cars that have been found burned? That is not confirmed. Right now, so it's a real rural area. Uh, we have interviewed or in the process of talking to more potential witnesses uh, and, and, and through the investigation. Sheriff, do you believe that this young girl witnessed her father being killed? Uh, that is unknown. Sure, he found in the found outside of a vehicle. Outside of a vehicle, maybe. Can't relinquish really it. Right. Now, what about the fire the fire last night? I don't have any of the particulars on it at this time. Can we clarify her age? Is she 14? 14, 14 years of age. Okay. So, do you have a person in the future? That is, no, that is not correct. Can you talk about the Amber? The Amber. 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 Oh, they, that is her on, on the Amber. On the Amber, it is, yes. How about Amber? Amber. Amber. That, that is correct. It is okay. And there is only one. I don't think one. Yeah, one. yeah. yeah there, there's only one to our knowledge. I think I got confused because I think you had mentioned maybe Montgomery. Okay. I may have made a mistake. At any rate, can you can you describe how you found this? It's a pickup truck, correct? Can you just tell us how you found it? Describe it. Well, I'm not able to do so at this time. Not, okay. Not able to but you believe this guy? You believe this man was inside that truck before he was uh, before he was killed? Uh, we have reason to believe to certainly um, search the vehicle as if it was a possibility the vehicle was used for transportation. Sheriff, we have a lot of questions from viewers just about potential suspect information, vehicle information. If people are out there right now watching, what should they be looking for? Well, right now we, we have a, a couple of vehicles that will be of interest that we'll be able to relinquish to you pretty shortly, uh, sometime today. Uh, at this point in time, any information that we have that could, uh, get, or could direct us in the right direction as far as the other potential victim, the 14-year-old female, would be grateful. Uh, and to call our number at 936-435-2400. Is there anything else you can say about where Adriana was last seen in Katy? What were the circumstances there? Uh, unable to do so at this time. Uh, we have reason to believe somebody spoke to her in that area uh, prior to this incident. Where does Adriana live? Does she live in Katy? Does she live in Houston? Does she live uh, here? We, we are currently trying to confirm all of that now. Sheriff, do you know what they were doing in this area last night or this morning? No, no we, we have not confirmed the, their purpose for being here at this point. And how did the call come in with the, the truck and everything else? Was that a 911 call or how? Uh, 
Captain, are you able to? Came in through, uh, came in through our communications center. I'm not sure if it's 911 or it came in through a regular phone line. And just so we get the time right, because none of us are sure of this either, I don't think. But when did when was this murdered man discovered? Was he the start of all of this? And if you can tell us what, approximately what time. It, it is going to be the, the start of all of it. It's why, it was while the investigation itself was actually taking place that we obtained additional information that led us to believe that the whereabouts uh, and the welfare of the 14-year-old female uh, was of concern. Just to be clear, this was Sunday early morning when the man's body was found? Or this morning? Sunday at 12, Sunday, yeah, hey, Sunday. Uh, 12 p.m. noon. Okay, Sunday at 12 Sunday. p.m. noon. And then this morning is when you guys discovered that the girl was potentially with him during the, the time of this. That, that's great. That's when the Amber Alert was put out. And, and you are saying you found his body outside of the vehicle, near the vehicle? The, uh, not going to be able to elaborate on that at this time. All right. Just can you elaborate? How much danger is this young girl in? Right now, we we uh, portray that she certainly is in grave danger. Uh, we uh, are needing the public's assistance very much so. Uh, we want to confirm her her whereabouts and her welfare. Where's the girl's mom? Uh, the mud girl's mother is unknown to me at this time as as to where she's at. The release had said that she possibly had witnessed this murder. Is that? Is that there is certainly a possibility of that, and when we get the opportunity to talk to the young female, we'll be able to confirm that, but unable to confirm that at this time. Do you think she's still in the area that y'all are concerned, or do you think that that's a possibility? I don't believe that she's going to be right here in this area. Maybe she's going to be in another area. Uh, at is there this any point, possibility to think that she's outside the country? Uh, unable to determine that exactly. We certainly are looking at that as being a possibility. Is drug, drug related in any way? Uh, that is another thing that, that uh, we're trying to, to uh, confirm as well. Most of our ties are going to be in the Houston area. That's why it's very important for y'all to be here uh, for us to, uh, to make uh, contact with your viewers, people yeah. that may have seen, possibly know. Or that's why we're asking anyone in the general Houston area to please come forward with any type of information. They may have past information, past friends, or anything. The smallest piece may be the biggest part of the puzzle for us. I greatly appreciate all y'all's time today. If you're going to update will anything, will you, would, uh, how will you get a hold of us so that we can get the very latest from you? We have all, uh, I believe we have all of y'all's contact information and your emails uh, as well with any updates. We'll be glad to provide you those as well. Please. Do you know where the, where the, where the father resided, the place of residence? Uh, we do have, we do have uh, some of that information, but of which we cannot reveal at this time. In any county, can you tell us the county? Uh, not at this point. Can we get a specific location where the body was found next to the car? Uh, no, all, right now all I can tell you is because there's some scenes that are still being followed up and worked on at this time, uh, is that it's going to be in the northern portion of Walker County. Let me just clarify one thing, excuse me, sir. Go ahead. The, uh, a body was not found next to a vehicle. I don't, I don't know yeah. where that information is coming from, but just okay. for clarification, a body was not found next to a vehicle. Or in the vehicle? Or in a vehicle. Yeah. I'll get was he found on the side of the road in a ditch? I mean, can you just... It, it was on some rural property. Okay, it was found on a rural property. Okay. Yeah. The car was found elsewhere. Elsewhere. Yeah. And there's only the one, one, there's only one the vehicle. That one is in Montgomery County. That was the one located in Montgomery County. The one that was burned on Enterprise Road? Okay. And just to clarify, was the body burned as well as this vehicle? Uh, the, the male body uh, was burned. Was burned? Mm -hmm. Okay. Unrecognizable, or to what extent? Can you talk to us? I can't elaborate on that at this time. Uh, it's very important for us to, in order to maintain the integrity of the investigation, we've got to limit our information that we can provide at this point. So that's going that's really going to be it. We'll be glad to update you as things come about. Uh, thank you all for being here. We certainly appreciate you all's assistance, and uh, we'd greatly appreciate the public's assistance as well. Thank, thank you, you, sir.